Tech stocks are doing quite well, thank you. SMA NASDAQ hitting uh, new highs earlier today before turning negative, but look at Apple, that is still at a new high. Uh, technology has been driving this puppy of late. In fact, not at all chagrined by all these other developments. Dave Maney, though, says uh, the real tech rally, though, might be over with uh, Apple's $1 trillion market cap, possibly a pipe dream. It's closing in on that, but you don't think it will get there? Well, if you look at it, Neil, that's almost another third, you know, 30% jump in the stock price. Right. And it yeah. is very hard for a company of that size and at that level or age or maturity of technology to uh, go make that jump. And there, it just seems to done. me that the It has been done, right? I mean, just yeah, when sure it got done. to half a billion, half a trillion. I mean, that was a huge leap, right? Uh, it was. It was. There are technology companies say, to, and, and we use that. That, that rubric very broadly, by the way, to right. include companies doing wildly different things and with wildly different security of business models. And just, you know, if you ask me of the kind of the, the four horsemen of Amazon and Google and Microsoft and, and, and Apple, if you ask me which one was the most likely to jump 30% in its stock price over the next year or two or three, it's not Apple. Um, what is driving technology. I mean, if you, I always think of this group, not to get weighed into politics here, but if there was ever a group that was sort of a, a monolithically kind of opposed to Donald Trump, or certainly not a fan, it's this group, yet it seems to be the biggest sector beneficiary of his election and post-inauguration. What's going on? Well, I think that's true. In the first case, it's the old Mark Andreessen statement of software eats the world or is eating the world. And it certainly is. No matter how you slice it, more and more of our activities and more of our, our, our jobs and more of our stuff is being delivered in some kind of softwareized sort of way. So there is overall this big sort of return to technology companies that's coming at them. And the more they're freed up, the more laissez-faire our economy becomes, the more that return will accrue to them. What you're talking about is the fact that at the same time, Donald Trump, you know, in a conflicting in impulse that he has, wants to support the people who are being harmed by that. At the same time, he wants to unshackle the competitive forces. I think both are kind of the right impulses. It's just that they're in, to a certain degree in conflict. Well said. Well said, Dave. Thank you very much, Dave. Any of course, of uh, Deep Digital, a co-founder there, Chairman. He's been uh, following this stuff long before people were looking at some of these names as cool names. He was <laughs> on to some of that phenomena, which makes him invaluable to me. I copy what he says and then use it as my own.